fade back to a little bit more factoring. I know this is y'all's favorite. That was a joke, by the way. Um, if it makes you feel better, it's not my favorite either. So we have to factor the bottom. A times C is negative 15. B is negative 2. Now the next thing is A is 1, so we don't have to worry about um, doing the box. So it's going to be negative 5, positive 3. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So this became x minus 5, x plus 3. Well, the nice thing is these half match. So I need all three to match this guy. This guard here is both. These need both. And then remember, um, so your domain, x cannot equal um, negative 3, positive 5. So it's the same thing as remember setting these equal to 0. I'm just kind of skipping that step um, because x minus 5 equals 0, plus 5 plus 5 can't equal positive 5. Minus 3 minus 3 can't equal negative 3. Okay, so this already has the x minus 5. It needs the x plus 3. What I give to the bottom, I have to give to the top. This has the x plus 3. It needs the x minus 5. And now all three denominators have both terms. So because of that, this is an equation, and when all the denominators match, I can cancel them. And I get 2 times x plus 3 plus 5 times x minus 5 equals 16. So I simplified by multiplying. And I need to combine like terms, so 2x plus 5x is 7x. 6 minus 25 is going to be negative 19. Yep. So plus 19, plus 19. And I'm going to bring this over here. So I get 7x equals 16 plus 19, 35. Divide by 7, divide by 7. x equals, I believe that's 5. Well, didn't I say x cannot equal 5? So the answer is no solution. Because we got x equals 5, but x cannot equal 5. Okay, so let's try number 39. Now remember, that's not always the case, so don't think that's always the answer. So let's look at this one. Now the nice thing is it's a perfect square minus perfect square. What squared minus what squared? So this becomes x minus 2, x plus 2. Well this has the x plus 2, needs the x minus 2. This has the x minus 2, needs the x plus 2. And now all my denominators are the same. But before I keep going, I know my domain. x cannot equal, well, negative 2 and positive 2. So knowing that, cross off my domain, and I have 4 times x plus 2 minus 2 times x minus 2 equals negative 8. So 4x plus 8 minus 2x. 2 negatives makes a positive 4. So this gives me negative 2x, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. My lights turn off on me constantly in here. Minus 12, minus 12, and I get negative 2x equals negative 20. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and I get x equals 10. Well, I don't have the x cannot equal that, so there is my answer.